if the, the allegations for the Saints were true, what should the NFL do with this situation? They, they should come down hard on the Saints, st straight up, because you have to get the integrity of the game in line. And if you have laws and you have uh, rules and you have teams that are blatantly breaking the rules and this is not done, we've even seen with the headset. If one side's headset goes down, what happens, yeah. Skip? They, the they turn the other side off because there's an advantage to the headset. So you have to make sure that this isn't going on. When they did it to Belichick, I still think the NFL made a mistake by not letting us see the tapes because they burnt them before we could ever see it. But in this case, here we go. you got to make sure that everybody's on the up and up, and you got to let everybody know that if you do something like this, you're going to okay, get so, hit hard. So what are you going to do? Give them the death penalty like SMU got? No, not the death football? penalty. Well, but what seriously. Was it? I mean, now you got so many multiple violations over years of time. Right at some point, if the commissioner is going to come down hard, is he going to take a season away from him? Or what? see this? Well, then, wow. well, then you know what? I, I would I would do maybe you, another for a first round pick and more money. What was five hundred thousand? Yep. Maybe it's one point five million dollars to the franchise. See, I I don't know if that's fair to the Saints, and the reason why I say that is because I, I've never seen the tapes of, that the New England Patriots had that the commissioner burned. I don't know how bad they were. I don't have anything to gauge that off of. Now, for me. As, as, a, as a person that loves the game of football and as a fan, it really makes me wonder how bad those tapes were of the New, of the, uh, New England Patriots because immediately when they got those tapes, they burned them and they told us that nothing was on them. What do you think would be bad? I, I they don't were know. coaches' tapes. Nah, I don't know. But, but Skip, but the, the idea that they the burned them, see them always tells you. That's, like, they, they had but, but what do you think could be on there that you I have suspect? no idea. I have what, no what? idea. But to sit here and say and to talk about how bad what – this, what the Saints did is, is so bad. How can I compare that to what the Patriots did? Well, because and there was a penalty, know. though. There but was already a penalty. I don't know what, what what was on the tapes that was the incriminating evidence. But on Hugh, those tapes. The, the the point was that you're not supposed to videotape that that I point. Understand. You're not supposed to do that, and that's what they I got understand. caught doing. Whether or not what they caught on the film. I or understand the tape. that, but Lo Loomis is basically saying this is not true. He, yep. he yeah. came no, out I understand and that. Yeah. He said this is not true. And the they NFL, also said that the bounty thing wasn't true and that they had I understand cleaned that, that up. They said I mean, that their too. Track record and the Vikings, they their said record, that wasn't true. Their okay. track record isn't great, but okay. he came out and he, he's standing by this. He said a thousand percent this is not true, but now you have these New England tapes that we didn't even see. Only thing we know is they got fined. They lost a the draft pick and the coach got fined. I want to see team. those tapes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to well, see that. Well, here, the, the question was, if the allegations were true, what should this punishment be for the Saints? That, that's what, it has to be above and beyond what they did to the Patriots if they're saying that this is a lot worse. But like I said, it's hard to, it's hard to, to put it in perspective if I don't know what was on those tapes and how, how bad they were. You don't have were. any benchmark. I don't have a benchmark. Okay. But you also have the FBI and and there's involved that, that side and, of it. and the, um, what's the other uh, organization? The federal forces. And that also, they got involved in the Vicodin scandal. The DEA got involved. Yep. Mm -hmm. So now the commissioner's got to say, this franchise has turned into a national embarrassment for the National Football League, right? Uh, absolutely. Okay. The, to me, th this is far, far worse than what New England did. This is um, more egregious, advantageous to the home team in that home dome, where they routinely had the strongest home field advantage in football. My problem with it is statute of limitations. We're going back seven years ago. Mm -hmm. if, if this had been going on last year, then oh. we really have a story here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And to your point, let's just throw this out there. There was a Vicodin scandal. It came and it went. It involved uh, the central figure was Joe Vitt, who's going to be the head coach after he serves his, or before and after he serves his sixth game right. for the bounty program, okay? And Joe Vitt denied that he had any involvement in the Vicodin, that he was going to the Vicodin cage and getting it, and it came and it went. So so maybe they were exonerated on that one, but it still was a black eye for the franchise. And now we have the bounty, and now we have the eavesdropping. And to me, at the very least, Mickey Loomis, his, his eight games are going to go to a full season. You know, right? If, if I, don't even, I don't even know if Mickey Loomis should be allowed to be a GM in the NFL anymore. Wow, that's Ooh. strong. I'm, I'm serious. Because, because it's not one thing. Skip, first, the bounty thing, the commissioner came to him and told him, cut it out. They didn't do it. And then there was a cover-up. And now this blatant, if it's true, to blatantly eavesdrop on another mm -hmm. team during it. I don't want that guy involved in football. I just don't if I'm the commissioner. So you think it's a Greg Williams kind of violation? It's a... It's a uh, suspension. If, if, yeah. if found to be true? If found to be true. Now, he is vehemently I, I denied. I understand that. Mm -hmm. So, again, 
if found to be true, we have to keep saying that, I, I'm at the very least his eight-game suspension it's goes doubled. to one year. Just, just goes I to one year. I say suspended indefinitely, and I think, mm. and I want to find out about Mickey Loomis. Is he going to play by the rules that, that you talk about all the time, Skip? Protecting the shield. If yep. you're not going to protect that shield and be question. on par when I respect, expect all everybody yep. else and all the other players to be on par and do yep. what's right, then Mickey Loomis, you don't belong here anymore if right. this is all true. And, and all of a sudden, the New Orleans Saints look dirtier than New Orleans or Louisiana <laughs> politics look, right? And now you've got Drew Brees <laughs> looked as, as, as one of the most upstanding figures in the National Football League. And I'm starting to wonder, did, did they set him up to be the figurehead the out front man of what underneath it all was the dirtiest franchise in the league. To, to, to deflect any, any blame or suspicion, you've got Drew Brees as your, your oh. face of the franchise, right? Right. Okay, well, because I don't suspect Drew Brees is, is involved in any stuff, right? right? Well, they need to take care of Drew Brees and get that uh, deal done. Yeah, I think that they can't better happen soon well, enough. How about some good news and they could sign him and let's get some <laughs> good news for the and, Saints? And give some money to somebody's charity.